we got a problem. All right, so I've been doing a lot of projects off camera recently. Um, not because I'm not motivated to film videos, I just, there was a couple of things that I just wanted to get done. Like my Skyskipper project, or this hopefully screen accurate Back to the Future 2 Wild Gunman cabinet. Ignore the holster, and it doesn't have the, the we'll, we'll, we'll get there one day, soon. If you know any good leather workers, this Marble Madness cabinet that you probably saw me start three years ago and kind of never really touched. Did I do videos on this? I think we did videos on this. The monitor on my red tent. This side that you've seen in like a bunch of our videos for probably the last year and a half wasn't working. Yoke was bad. Fix that as well. Did a tube swap on both sides too. I also got my Hellafire cocktail fixed up. I mean, I didn't do a full restoration on it, just new artwork, rebuilt the monitor, cleaned the whole thing, fixed some buttons, the locks, but you know, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I know, it's got a black top. We, <sighs> I found it that way. We won't talk about it. It looks good though. I got this badass EM slot machine that, you know, we have to blur out because we used it for a movie and it's still covered in the artwork from said movie, but it's still badass. I even added a couple of new games to my collection. There's a Rock Ola Fantasy back there, which let's be honest is gonna turn into a Nibbler because I like Nibbler. And uh, this Star Castle that apparently came from Anchorage, Alaska. Wow. I also got my wife's scratch-built tapper mostly done. It's missing the cup holders, but that's another story for another time. And I also built this badass gaming computer because I'm putting a racing simulator down here in the corner of my basement. It looks like an engine. Is that not the biggest monitor you've ever seen? Like, look at that. This one shows all the liquid cooling stuff. This is an arcade channel. The problem is now, I've kind of run out of space in the basement. This layout has pretty much been here since we moved into this house like seven, seven and a half years ago. You know, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, Bandito, and then we kind of grew from there. Some of these games came over from the old place, like the Space Duel or, you know, the Robotron. I think the Robotron was the first game we brought in here when we moved here. Anyway, I'm not a real fan of the lineup. And plus, that Wild Gunman and that Skyskipper, they have to go somewhere. So here's my plan. According to my tape measure, I can fit four Nintendo cabs across there. So then these will come out and I'm gonna put them right here in this row. It'll go Marble Madness, uh, Robotron, Moon Patrol, and then Williams 1942. Then the Neo Geo and the Super Monaco, they are gonna go in the spot over here that was once occupied by uh, my Donkey Kong and Mario Brothers. I don't really wanna move this and I really like where this Make Tracks is. It fits just perfectly in that little hole between the door and the pinball machines. But what this is gonna give me is a couple of things. First and foremost, we're gonna have pretty much all the Atari cabinets in one place. So we'll, starting at the space duel all the way around the corner, we'll come around this way, it'll be Atari, 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 Atari. And then right here we'll have, you know, three Williams, four Williams. And then over here we'll have the red tent and a small Nintendo row. Everything else, the randoms and everything, will be over here. A couple of cool benefits that this gives us. One, I get a nicer set for when we film videos down here, because you'll see some really cool games on this row. Not that these aren't cool, but like a bit of a Williams row and a Nintendo row over there. Atari cocktail bar height row. I think that looks pretty cool. All my favorite arcade YouTubers have some kind of cool setup in the background, and mine's kind of floundered in the last few years. But also, because Wild Gunman's got a cable, and you know, I'm gonna have Duck Hunt and Hogan's Alley and Wild Gunman and whatever else in there, you're gonna be able to stand back quite a bit further from the cabinet in this little alleyway that I normally have. So it kind of kills a couple of birds with one stone. That and the monitor died on my Battlezone Cabaret. Again, for like the fourth time. So 
This needs to come out first anyway, so I'm just gonna move it over to my workshop area and it'll be out of the way so that we can do the little do -si do I need my dolly. What the hell is that under the... Are those Skittles? From the candy machine? Ah, oh, that's gross. If any of my friend's kids are watching this episode, I know it was you. Why do the, the bottoms of these just leave white residue everywhere? Son of a bitch. I haven't moved some of these games in six years. I have a feeling that's not gonna be the worst thing I find. Probably one of my favorite things from Grinkfest 7. These coasters, they're great for keeping your games level. I'm running out of them, but they're great. Why in the hell did we pick hobbies that basically every single thing we buy is the size and weight of a fridge? This one's on sliders. Whoa! Careful. Guess I should unplug it. Hey, look, another Skittle. That was legitimately the easiest thing I'm going to move today. <sighs> I think we'll move the Moon Patrol first. We'll go Moon Patrol, Robotron, Marble Madness. Ah, more of this. So uh, a lesson, never buy these cheap like rugs uh, at Walmart. They just disintegrate on the bottom and are left with this like white powder like everywhere. <laughs> Gotta make sure I'm not like ripping the cables out of the wall. The jungle patrol. Oh, that's a horrible sound. I should have dusted these before I moved them. Son of a bitch. Ooh, this one's got a little cable clip on the back. Cool. Pro tip, if you don't have one of these dollies that has this extra drop down leg, get one. They're like, I don't know, 120, 300 bucks, somewhere in that range. Get a good one. Uh, Canadian Tire sells this uh, Costco brand or something. Uh, yeah, C-O-S-C-O. -C -O. Uh, this is a three-in-one. There's another version, which is a four-in-one, that has a blade that folds down. Don't get that one. That one sucks. Get the three-in-one. So much nicer to move games. There. First row. Fairly straight. I mean, I have more room now. Ooh, maybe I put the Williams carpets here. Hey, 
turn on arcade number five. What? Really? Ah. <sighs> Everything on the middle row except Marble Madness and the Space Duel are plugged into this really big, long power bar. I must have hit the switch on it when I was moving that. Oh, for... Ah. Hey, turn on arcade number five. Why the hell are you not turning on? I'm not an idiot. I, sometimes I do stupid things. Well, that's better. I mean, I'm gonna have to pull this out to do the monitor soon anyway, but that's better. So the next order of business is all of the junk, all the stuff I have up on top of the Nintendo cabinets. Uh, just a bunch of Amiibos, another control panel for the Donkey Kong Ultimate. Um, I've got these really cool, like Japanese Mario and Luigi that go with my Mario brother. So we're gonna take all of this down and we're gonna relocate it somewhere else and then we'll pull the Nintendo cabinets out. really should dust these. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's horrible. <coughs> I get asked about these a lot. Uh, you know, where'd you get the cool Williams rugs? Where'd you get the cool Williams rugs? Honestly, Google. Just use Google. No. <laughs> um, they're actually from uh, Planetary Pinball. Uh, they have the license to do, you know, Williams and Bali stuff. So you can get Williams ones, we can get Bali ones, you can get single ones that you stand in front of a single pinball machine. Um, I got these at two different events actually. Uh, and I got this one at an event and I think I got this one from Planetary, Planetary's website. Um, wasn't cheap. They were stupidly expensive, way overpriced, but I really wish I had like just two or three more. All right, I think I'll put the Neo Geo in next. Um, well, the Monaco's in the way of the Neo Geo, but so I'll, I'll, I'll pull the Monaco in here and then I'll put the Neo Geo in after it. It's getting late. Oh yeah, that'll have to go way farther back. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, that was a little sketchy actually. Holy crap. Oh, the nice thing about a Neo Geo is you don't have to really ever go in in the back of the cabinet unless you're doing repairs. Everything can just be, you know, modified from up front. Control panel, game cartridges, all that kind of stuff. So this will look good, just nice and far back into the wall. Okay. Cobwebs like everywhere. All right, so let's recap. We've gone from this to to this. Oh, also. That's not bad. I, I, ignore this. I mean, I still have some Skyskipper stuff to do. Okay, I mean, I would say mission accomplished. Uh, the arcade is a lot more compelling when you come down the stairs. You can see all the Nintendo cabinets, whereas before they were just there on the left. Uh, you get a little bit more space here, it feels, just because the Monaco and the Neo Geo are 
a little bit more pushed back than those Nintendo cabinets are. They, they're pretty deep. And, and on that note, um, I did lose a little bit of space right here, but not, not too terribly much. Now, another interesting thing that I noticed, I mean, now that I've got my screen space back for my projector, um, here, it feels like the aisle gets more narrow. And I, I say it feels like, it actually kind of does. So I'm gonna figure out a way to, to line these cocktails up a little bit better. Maybe I'll move Tempest uh, over onto this side so it kind of sticks out past the post here. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do or what the order of them uh, will be once I'm done with all the Skyskipper work up here. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I, I think this was a success. I really do. And I mean, I can play Wild Gunman now. Well, I guess the moral here is that change is good. So I'm pretty happy with these changes. I think the, the new layout looks really good. It definitely looks really good on camera. Um, it looks good coming down the stairs. Uh, I found a couple of things that I want to fix on a couple of games while I was moving them around. I got a chance to clean some of the dust bunnies out from behind the games that have been there for about six, seven years. And you know what, I'm, I'm really happy with this. So yeah, change is good. And get one of those dollies with the wheels that fold down on the back. Those will, those will save your ass especially if you're up till two in the morning doing this by yourself. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Canadian Arcade. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, share this video with your friends. If you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below in the comment section. If you want more from us, we post a ton of stuff on Instagram and Facebook, so go ahead and check us out there. And until next time, thanks for watching. You've got to take it back upstairs because I forgot to film bringing it down for the clip. Not important.